so in the previous video i showed you how you can send and receive emails using your custom domain name for free which is this video which is the 17th no the 16th video in the playlist on how to start a profitable blog that generates money for you 24 7 even when you're sleeping the link to this playlist is in the description so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can enable your wordpress site to send emails okay so what are these emails these emails are for example email verification when someone registers an account they will need to verify that an email so an email will be sent to their email address and in case someone forgets a password and in case someone forgets a password they can reset their password and they can receive a password reset link via email so as of now all this can't happen because this website is not configured to send emails because we need to connect it to an s using an M smtp so this is what i'm going to show you so before you can do all this make sure that you watch this video which is over here so that you can learn how you can send and receive emails using a domain name this is when you can enable your website to start sending emails and other notifications so to do all that just come here where it says plugin okay and choose click on add new so by the way this is the demo website okay it's not my main website just for teaching you guys so once you do that uh, click on the search search for easy smtp okay don't worry if you don't understand any of these things just uh, follow along with this tutorial okay so we're going to install this one over here the easy wp smtp and you have to click on install now okay when you click on install now click on activate when you click on activate you'll be required to configure it so that is exactly what you're going to do so we need to click on the settings menu which is this one okay so this is the last part we are doing which is enter an email address so in the previous video which is over here we configured keith at keithrens.me so i'm going to enter my email address the one we configured last time which is this one and from name i'm going to enter it's keith Rins. A reply to emails when an email is sent if you'd like to receive replies you can enter the reply to email so i'm going to enter the same one okay leave the bcc the way it is then when it comes to the smtp host okay this is where now you come and copy the smtp 7am which is this one over here and the ports are here so i'm going to enter them Okay, I'm done entering my credentials. So all I have to do now is click on save changes. So after this, we'll be asked to send a test email to see if this really works. So I'm going to send the test mail. We we'll see if to work. Okay, let's now click on send test email. Okay, so as you can see, the email was sent successfully. No errors were occurred during the process. So let me just check my email to see if the mail was reached. Okay, here is the email that's reached. So bye for now.